SLS is the only rocket in existence today that can take astronauts into deep space. Not only can it do that, but it can carry large payloads, and it also has a large volume with a tremendous capability. We've been looking for a big rocket for a long time, and we finally got that big rocket that can carry us to moon and to Mars and beyond. It's not only important capability for our country, but it's a generational capability that will be here for a long time, and our international partners will benefit as well. So we're going to fly Artemis 1, and the purpose of Artemis 1 is a test flight, and it's going to increase our knowledge of how the vehicle performs relative to what we already understand about our margin and our sensitivities associated with the design of the rocket. The Marshall Space Flight Center and our local community in the Huntsville area plays a key role uh, in what we've done so far and what we will do. Uh, we have a tremendous technical capability here. Um, we've got a heritage of building uh, launch vehicles and it's an honor for uh, I think the SLS team and our community uh, to be building on the foundation that was laid before us back in the Saturn program and the shuttle program. When we fly SLS for the first time on Artemis 1, there'll be a tremendous amount of learning. Of course, we've done a lot of testing on the ground, but the true test comes from when we get to have the vehicle in those combined environments where we're at tremendous speeds with the aero heating, the dynamic pressure. The first launch of the SLS rocket will be extremely important from the standpoint of all the hard work that the team has put in to getting us to this point. A lot of sacrifice has been made by every individual on the team, not only for them, but as well as their families. <laughs>